all of you that don't know me, I'm Bill, Cole's dad. Hi. And I, my wife Barb, right here. Hi, Barb. And Alex's parents, his mom, Penny, stepdad, Hi, Jeff. And Alex's dad, Barry. <laughs> We'd like to uh, welcome you here to uh, the continued celebration of Nicole and Alex's marriage. Yay! Well, how about that wedding? Yeah. Wasn't that a wonderful day for a wedding in a beautiful setting? I think it was just magic how those leaves just floated out of the sky. Just when we were starting. And how about these singers here? Huh? What about that? I knew nothing about that. This is a complete surprise to me. That is the first time I have heard Nicole sing for since. She was supposed to be a surprise. So she was a, I remember her singing when she was a little girl, but that's been quite a few years ago. So, where do I start? <laughs> My darling Nicole. I've adored you since the moment I first saw you. <laughs> I still do. And look at you now, how beautiful you are right now. Did I that wedding dress? Now, what do you think, guys? Yeah. You look cute? Woo! Awesome. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. I still remember, not that long ago, we used to live over in this house right here where Nate lives now, bouncing her out of the bed for elementary school to wake her up in the morning. I come up there and be bouncing and bouncing. She's, first she starts smiling a little bit and giggling, and then she was ready to get up. <laughs> and uh, well, you don't know Nicole. She is a animal lover. I think we first started out with like a little hamster. I don't know if that was Zach or not, but we had a couple hamsters probably. Maverick. Rabbit. Maverick. Maverick. Nate remembered that. Nate remembered Maverick. Okay. Jordy. Pretty bird. Jordy, pretty bird. Yeah. <laughs> Goats, chickens, ducks, you like chicken, horses, <laughs> dogs, Spiders. cats, 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 cats. Amen to that. Amen to that, right, Alex? Alex has got competition for Nicole's love when it comes to cats. Yes. Especially one cat called Callie. Or else, well, I guess it's Calzone now. She's got a kind of a nickname. I think Nicole picked Nicole uh, Calzone up when you were in high school. I think been with her for a long time by her side. Calzone just loves to go to bed at night. She gets so excited. <laughs> and you know they talk about dads and daughters' connections. You know, my wife Barb's seen that. I felt that and feel it right now. Yep. We had such a beautiful connection. You've been such a gift to my life, Nicole. Thank you. Thank you very much. I thank the Lord every day for you. You turned it out to be such an awesome lady. And then came Alex. <laughs> what is about this guy? is always playing this guitar, huh? <laughs> and you know, it's country music too, so I'm not a country music fan. <laughs> but I was sure impressed today. Oh. You really impressed me today, Alex, with your song. And I, I do enjoy, enjoy listening to us strumming in the back. I don't want to come and visit. That was just great. So I welcome you to the family. I'm glad to have you with us. I enjoy spending time with you. Last summer, I had a great time golfing with you at the Canyon Golf Course. And the projects, Alex and I like to do projects. Like this dance floor out here. It wasn't quite, Nicole and I did it, and it wasn't quite right, so Alex re-engineered it a little bit to get the edge around so people wouldn't trip. So. 
Thank you for that, Alex. Hopefully nobody will trip on it, so be careful there. So anyway, oh, one more thing about Nicole. And we used to play Barbies a lot too. But uh, it was kind of like G.I. Joe Barbie, you know, zip lines. And I made a little more interesting, but Nicole didn't mind. And then another thing about Nicole, I remember when she's young, you know, sometimes I wasn't paying attention to her enough, and she would come up to me, grab me by the face, right like that, hold my head around, look right, it was, she's about this far away from me, two inches, Dad, Dad, yeah, then she got my attention. She had to do that many times. She still has to do that sometimes. So, I propose a toast. Oh, here we go. To Alex and Nicole, everybody raise their glasses. I hope that you have many awesome moments. That your love grows deeper every day. And that the life you've chosen to do together is everything you've ever dreamed of. Dreamed of. Here, here. All right. That's my part. Who's next? Good job, Dan! Okay, so Bill stole my opening line. So, hello, I'm Alice, for those of you that don't know me. Uh, I feel very fortunate that I have been there for a lot of new beginnings with Nicole and Alex, and I'm very... Um, excited to help them celebrate today. I first met Nicole freshman year at UW River Falls in Crabtree Hall. We just lived a few doors away from each other, but we uh, actually met through a mutual friend. And we didn't really spend much time together until second semester, but once we started hanging out more and more, I realized what just an amazing person that she is. <laughs> Uh, sophomore year was when Alex came into the picture. <laughs> uh, at first, Alex was known by many of the girls on Nicole and I's floor as the hot guy from first floor that was all, always playing guitar. <laughs> as I got to know Alex through late night movie watching, snowball fights, and the nights at Rodley, I began to realize what a funny, amazing person he was, and most importantly, a man that made my friend smile and just light up whenever he was around. <sighs> Nicole and Alex had a few kinks to work out in their relationship, but by fall of junior year, they were together, and I knew deep down in my heart that they were going to be together for the long haul. Senior year, Nicole and I lived in the suites on campus together, and Alex was our honorary roommate. Uh, that year for me, yeah, that year for me is filled with memories of Alex introducing Nicole and I to Buffy the Vampire Slayer, uh, roommate dinners, and most importantly, strawberry daiquiri nights. As we started to get ready for graduation, Alex talked about grad school and finally decided on New Mexico State, and Nicole decided to follow him down there. As sad as I was that I wasn't going to have Nicole around to watch Sex in the City and Dirty Dancing Havana Night for the 10 millionth time, I was really excited for this new chapter to begin in their lives. I was very happy and honored that I was able to take time off of work and help them move down there. And while I didn't really like the two-day car ride and all the unpacking, we made some pretty amazing memories and it was a good time to be down there and spend some time with them before I wasn't going to be able to see them every day. Because Nicole and Alex are such important people in my life, I wasn't really worried about losing touch with them and we managed to stay in touch through the phone and Skype and email and 
visiting whenever they came up to Minnesota. I live over in Wisconsin, so we had a lot of car rides in the middle to meet up with each other. <clears throat> um, and then as their graduation from grad school got closer, I started dreaming that I would be able to go down there to help them separate again. And I decided to make that dream a reality, and I bought a plane ticket to go down. I became even more grateful for my decision to do that the night Nicola called me to tell me that Alex got a job in Ohio. <laughs> Selfishly, I was a little upset that they were not going to be just a few hours away as I thought they were going to be. But I was very excited. I am still very happy that Alex managed to find a job right out of grad school. Um, and I knew I just had to make the most of my time with them down there, which I did. And again, a lot, a lot of packing. <laughs> From the first time they met to New Mexico, to Ohio, and now today, I've made a lot of memories with Nicole and Alex. And I know that there are just so many more to come. So if you'll help me toast the couple, Raise your glass to Nicole and Alex. Nicole and Alex. Nicole and since high school and we became friends through the tennis team and orchestra and she was and still is my favorite tennis partner what makes for a good tennis partner is someone who is equal to you in skill level that challenges you to be better we each had something we were slightly better at than the other which forced us to confront our own weaknesses and it was always fun because we didn't really care who won. It was just about playing the game and spending time together. I see Alex and Nicole as being great tennis partners in life. They are equal in many ways while still having different strengths. They challenge each other to be better, to face their fears, and to always try something new. They don't keep score and they just play for the sake of playing. They are in good hands with each other. I have no doubt that their journey ahead will be full of adventure, love, laughter, and at least eight more cats. <laughs> So congratulations, you two. I'm glad you found each other. Nicole and Alex. Take out the bouquet. I'll try not to. First of all, I want to thank you guys all for coming out on this special day with Alex and Nicole. Um, you know, <coughs> but those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Paul, one of Alex's oh. and Nicole's friend. Hey. Yeah. Hey. You know, I, I've been friends with Alex for a long time. Um, I met Alex in math class. And ever since that day, we be, kind of became inseparable. You know, we were like really close friends. We were best of friends. And I remember going to his house one day. He invited me over, and we watched his movie called The Last Samurai. <laughs> and him and I loved that movie so much. We got our knives and stuff, and we. And this is when Alex lived in Woodbury with his mom and stuff. And we started cutting down the whole forest, trying to make the best sword, the sword fight. <laughs> And you know, and I, that's the thing I love about Alex. You know, he's, you know, he's just carefree, and he doesn't judge anything. You know, he just does what he loves to do, and that's what makes him a really good friend to me. And you know, right after high school, we got separated. You know, we went both went to different colleges, and but even though times have changed, our friendship have never changed at all. Remain the same. And. Finally, Alex called me up one day when I was in St. Cloud, and he told me to come down to a party to meet the beautiful Nicole. 
And I did, and I don't know if Alex remembers this, but I told him, Alex, I think you took the last beautiful girl. No offense to any girls out here. <laughs> but um, I just want to touch up on a little bit about what happened on the proposal day. It was a kind of an epic journey, and I tell you. <laughs> Alex called me up, and I drove down here, and I met up with Bill and Alex, and he was trying to plan this really romantic way to propose to Nicole. And I don't know if anybody knows what geocaching is. I don't really know myself, so ask Alex later. <laughs> so we're trying to find this perfect spot to hide this beautiful ring that Alex had bought. And what happened is we ended up walking through this uh, river. <laughs> and the water was up to our waist. And I can't believe Bill actually came along, to be honest. <laughs> and we just walked for at least, I'd say, a mile or two. Then we ended up getting lost. <laughs> so we called up uh, Nicole's grandma, who happened to be there, and picked us up. So we went for round two. <laughs> so in that park where we just had that uh, celebration for the wedding, um, we finally found a spot there by the river, by the waterfall, and we hit the ring there. And we took Nicole out, and she found the ring, uh, all the memories and all the stuff, how they met, and she opened it up, and, and she said, yes, I recorded everything, but I think I talked too much in that video. <laughs> because I didn't know if I had my phone recorded voice or not, so. <laughs> but, before, before I just end my speech, you know, I just want to say, um, Alex and Nicole, as you're on the road to happily ever after, know that everyone here is happy for you. Also know that tonight, for the first night, the stars will not be shining. For you two will light up the night skies. And Alex and Nicole, my two wonderful friends, I can't have asked for a better moment than this right here and right now to be a part of your lives and to celebrate this special moment in time when you two wonderful amazing individuals come together and create an everlasting union. Congratulations both of you, my wonderful friends. So toast to Alex and Nicole. Uh, My name is Brad and I'll make this quick because I know everybody wants to dance. <laughs> I have been friends with Alex since the beginning of time and by beginning of time I mean 2005 when we met in college. In 2006 I became the roommate of the hot guy on the floor who plays guitar and I learned very quickly that it would never be about Alex and me or Alex and I or whatever. It was always about Alex and his guitar. <laughs> And then, when I thought all was clear, it became about Alex and Nicole. So I was never a part of the picture fully. So, again, making this quick, we want to obviously raise our glass for the twelfth time tonight, and hopefully not the last. Alex and Nicole, we love you, wish you the very best, and enjoy the night. We just got one more. Just one more. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Joe, and I have known Alex since the fifth grade, and uh, we've done a lot together. We built the fort in Weshke Park, or attempted to build the fort in Weshke Park in last year. And uh, I want to touch on something that I don't think I've ever told him before. Um, uh, what kind of a friend he is to me, he, he uh, for those who don't know me also, I am kind of a creature of habit. I am set in my ways. And uh, he, find, he found a way to, to, to challenge me and, and, and open my mind a little bit more. Uh, the trip down to Arkansas, for instance. Never been canoeing before, never really done anything like that. 
I was afraid I was going to tip over, didn't know what was going to happen, so I said, Alex, one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to get wet today. And what did he do? He purposely tipped the canoe, and I lost a shoe in the, in the river that we were, I don't know what river it was, but then we ended up walking barefoot into Walmart trying to find a new pair of shoes. So because of that, I just, I really appreciate your friendship, and I'm very blessed to have had you in my life since fifth grade and Nicole I, I haven't known as long but you keep having you two and letting me share uh, with the dinners in the in the dorms and New Year's Eves every year for playing uh, golf or go fish fish bowl sorry sorry fish bowl it was really good uh, I just want to say congratulations, and I really appreciate you having me here, and uh, good luck to everything in the future. Cheers to Alex and Nicole. All right. Hi, everybody. My name is John Davidson. And i got to claim partial responsibility for Alex's guitar addiction. <laughs> And then our, our good friend Robert back here in the red shirt. Uh, and this started to get long, so I'm not going to say it. But however, if you look in the dictionary under like plain good people, there's Alex and Nicole's picture right next to that. Just plain good people. And you guys, I got to give Nicole a ton of credit because when these guys come over to my house and Alex and I are babbling about guitars, she knows more about Gretsch guitars vicariously <laughs> listening to us babble about these. <laughs> and her patience is incredible. So therefore, <laughs> I love both you guys. I adore both of you. You've been such great friends. And the little time that we get to spend together is always really, really good. So congratulations. I don't have a thing to toast anybody with here, but everybody if you want to do one more toast and then I'll shut up and carry on. It's on. I'm really not good at speaking in front of everybody, but I'm just gonna from the from the hip here. Um, it has been a spectacular time having Nicole present in our family and the Bondies. They have just taught us all of how wonderful and gifted they are to be part of our lives. Um, I am super blessed to have a fabulous daughter-in-law now. And Sure. And um, no I'm very proud of everything that they've accomplished together from alone, from being apart and then together and to have that strength with each other that they've brought to each other and uh, their patience and love and total understanding and listening and everything. Um, it's just been Wonderful. So I'm, I want to welcome Nicole to our family and um, thank you all for coming and sharing this wonderful time with them. And it means so much to them also and to, to all of our family. Thank you. My name is Jeff and uh, I have the Hi, Rhonda. That's Rhonda, by the way, everybody. <laughs> I had the great pleasure of uh, living with Alex for most of his life. Um, I must say, the day that he first started learning to play guitar was a curse. <laughs> what a blessing. Uh, before he really knew how to play well, that's just, I think when he liked to have it the loudest. <laughs> and unfortunately, it was usually about 10 o'clock at night. 
but uh, what a young man you've turned out to be. I know you've made your mother very proud. You made me proud. Um, you've accomplished a lot in your life, the short period of time that you've matured and become a young man. And uh, I hope you're proud of yourself. Uh, it's been a great pleasure also uh, getting to know the Bondi family. Uh, for these do-it-fixers, we have them to thank so much because they helped remodel our kitchen. And what a wonderful job they did. And uh, once again, thank you for that. Uh, and through that all, we've, we've gotten to know their family very well. And what an impressive, close-knit family they are. Um, it's like watching an episode of the Waltons, so to speak. <laughs> So anyway, uh, Nicole, what a wonderful uh, gift you are to our family, and uh, we thank you very much, and uh, we, we just wish nothing but the best. Thank you so much. Hey everybody, everybody that doesn't know me, I'm Alex's father. Um, Alex gave me this today. Today a groom, tomorrow a husband, forever your son. I love you, Dad. Um, that pretty much wraps it up. <laughs> Seriously, folks. Alex, I love you very much. You're all I have. You're all I've ever had. You've helped me out. Nicole, you've been by your side watching him help me out. I love you very much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for all the, the amazing speeches, and we really appreciate that. So, um, I'm, I'm not going to make a speech, but I'm just going to say thank you to all the people who really made this night happen. Because they're, you know, one of the biggest things for me was like how many people's hands are in the pot. And to make this night the way that it is. You know, the tablecloth, I didn't put the tablecloth there. The candles, I didn't do none of this stuff. It's just here. I couldn't ask for, for a, a more wonderful day. I mean, everything is perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And there's so many people to thank for this. I don't even know where to get started. But who who really made this day happen? And she's the most wonderful person. And and I wouldn't be here. It's Nicole. We all we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. So she is the most important part of this whole operation. So. I want to thank Nicole, I love you very much, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Aww. So, should we dance now or something? Nicole's <laughs> turn. You want to say something? Yeah. Nicole! Stay! 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 Okay. <laughs> well, I'd like to thank everyone for coming. Um, each of you have touched Alex or my life at some point in our lives, and it wouldn't be the same without you. And once again, thank you for the people who helped put this together. Um, I really like to thank my mom. <laughs> she did a lot for this, and it couldn't happen without her. And of course, Penny, my dad really helping out and um, my brother this is his place so thank you for letting us have our, our reception here um, my aunt Brenda has been helping out a lot and well you said that the tablecloths just showed up well someone did put those on <laughs> they did <laughs> and that was uh, the church youth group just in town here the Luther League so uh, we really like to thank them for doing that as well and um, yeah, so thank you so much, and 
I love you, Alex, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you, and I look forward to the journeys and adventures you take me on in the future. Love you.